All right, today we are planting Ellie Holcomb's kitchen garden. This was recently built and she started to plant a little bit. And so today we are here to take it to the next level. We're gonna be using our intensive planting method and packing in so many plants. Let me show you the bed set up. So she has this great fenced in area. This is I think about a three by maybe 20 foot bed. It's a pretty long bed. We're gonna do the majority of our planting in this bed. Got a nice sun filled bed right here in the center. This looks like it's about two and a half by about eight. This is a nice small bed. It looks like it's about a three by four. So we'll have fun in this one. And then this bed, she's already started to plant some things. So we're gonna add some more. Uh, she's got tomatoes and basil and other things like that in here. Uh, this one looks like it's almost a four by eight. So the soil to me, I, they said that it's you know good, but it looks a little, um, a little too sandy to me. When I see soil, I wanna see dark. So generally, if I look at soil and it looks a little bit light, almost tan, that's usually a sign to me that there's not enough life in there. So the first step we're going to do is add in some mushroom compost to the top. Hope that's enough to kind of kickstart our plants and, uh, and then use our planting method to bring some health and life to the soil as well. So uh, first things first, we're going to put in some compost, then we'll lay out our plants maybe add some new trellises and watch the magic happen. So I got my gloves, I got my compost, I got Molly and Georgia, we're ready to go. do a line of all different kinds of peppers um, so you already had some but we're gonna add a lot more different sizes and shapes so you'll get the gold peppers can be a little slow too we're looking at like 75 days so oh, you might right I know yeah. it, it's like and then all of a sudden there's just like peppers. tons yes done three. oh okay oh well you're gonna be you'll be the pep you'll have a pepper party Yay! <laughs> Did you know we could fit this many plants in here? I didn't. I didn't know, as evidenced by what it looked like before you got here. I mean, plants <laughs> fix everything, right? I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to talk about what we did in each bed. Ellie was right here alongside as as long as well as her. Okay, I'm going to do that again. Ellie was right here with me as well as her kids jumped in and helped too. So our first bed, we did a little bit of rearranging. Ellie had four uh, tomatoes in the corners. 
And I really wanted to put the tomatoes down the center so that we can kind of scale down and make the most of every little square foot. So she agreed to let me add some fancier trellises. And I love them. <laughs> I'm so happy. So the benefit to these is they are taller. And instead of planting the tomato in the interior, why do we not do that now, Ellie? I asked about this because I was like, oh, there's nothing in the center. But basically, if it's in the center, you can't tend to it. And we want to tend to our plants. Plus, you can only grow one instead of many. And now we have one on each little spot. It's got a place to hold on to because we all need a little help from our friends. <laughs> Ellie's gonna write a lot of songs from this garden. <laughs> That's like already been determined. Yes, exactly. So now that she has this, she can grow a lot more tomatoes. She's gonna be able to take care of them and they're all gonna be pruned to one main stem and they're all gonna go up uh, one side of the trellis. So we have I've four. I've pruned my tomatoes before. All right, so that'll be the next That's, trip. Yeah, yep. That's what I've learned. From so me. we added oh. lots of herbs. We did peppers down the sides. And then Ellie, what did you plant by seed along here? I'm so excited. I have pole beans on these corners. Yep. Right here, and then cucumbers right here. And those are just little tiny seeds that are gonna grow into a lot of vegetables to share with my family and my friends. That's right, so we've got uh, tomatoes down the center, cucumbers and pole beans here, peppers, and then she also did bush beans. And then as you can tell, we, have, we love having some herbs and some flowers. And then Ellie, tell everyone what we're doing with this. This is Swiss chard, which I've never grown before. You can see it on your book on the back. That's Ellie. Your shoulder, so just stay tuned. That's gonna be me. We're gonna and come back and take a picture of Ellie doing this. How long did it take for him to grow that big? Um, well, mine are that big now, and I planted them in February. So it's May, so June, July, August, summertime. I see you in August. End of summer. <laughs> All right, this bed we dedicated to her daughter who wanted some strawberries. So this bed has 12 strawberry plants, which uh, her daughter planted for us, which is so awesome. Yep. We added some flower for color. And then what did you plant in between? Uh, little onions, which I haven't covered this one up. I little onions. Show you. So I love to do chives or onions in between strawberries. The smell throws off pests and just helps keep a strawberry bed healthy. So she'll get some onions while she's waiting on her strawberries. This bed is gonna be the flower bed. So we added some flowers all around the exterior of the bed. And then we put a lot of basil down the center. And then Ellie took over and planted... Zinnia seeds. Zinnias. One of my favorite flowers ever. Me too. They're gifts that keep giving. And they like, they're the easiest thing to grow from seed, so right? Easy, yeah. So she and her daughter planted rose right here. So the idea is basil is gonna give us a little bit of protection, early harvest while we wait on the flowers. And then eventually this whole bed will be full of color and basil. It's gonna smell and look delicious. <laughs> All right, then back here we have our big, big bed, our major production bed. We took her trellises that were in that bed, flattened them out, and we're gonna use these as a panel trellis along the back. We planted a lot of vining tomatoes. We planted um, some eggplant down the center here. She already had a few plants, some beans and peppers that we just worked with around. We added lots of herbs and flowers here in the front. And then on the very end, she said she wanted just a little, not too much squash. Yes. So we just gave her two plants, just two. So if it works, she might get more than she wants, but. Yeah, it's true. That, if you get it dropped on your doorstep, anybody, then we know who did it. It's me, hi, All right. I'm the problem. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, tell the people what something, what's something new that you learned today that you like think other people should know. Um, well, I think mainly that we need each other. We're better when we grow together. And I, that is something that I didn't know. I have always kept mine more separated. And this is something that is very in line with my personality. I'm a seven on the Enneagram. I'm like more, more, both and. And I'm learning from you that both <laughs> and is actually the way that things were meant to grow. And you look in nature and this is the other thing that maybe we as humans tend to overcomplicate things sometimes. And a lot of times if you just give plants a good spot, plants are really smart. Nature's really smart and it will grow on its own. So I'm excited to watch the plants work together. Like all of us are better when we work together. Yeah. And I'm excited to watch them, yeah, thrive, do what they do. Yeah. And teach me. So stay tuned. <laughs> We're going to come back in a few weeks, maybe a month or so, see yeah. how things are growing. Um, some things aren't going to make it. That's just part of life. Yeah. Um, but we planted so much that you won't even notice the fails. Yeah, I always, see. people ask me if I'm a gardener and I'm like, kind of, 
I kill a lot, but a lot grows. So <laughs> it we works have out. Both in. It yeah. works out. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting us garden with you today. Oh, it was such a treat. So thankful. And her kids were in here the whole time. It was so fun. Um, her little boy at the very beginning literally planted himself in the garden. He it did. was it was awesome. Yeah, truly. <laughs> we're gonna have some good hand washing before <laughs> to do before dinner. All right, so if you're watching this video, obviously you are, put in the comments what you think, what vegetable or fruit or plant you think Ellie should write a song about. Oh yeah. Yeah, I give us you. your vote. So any anything, flower, if you've got a particular plant that you think really deserves a song, yes. she's your girl, I so you. so tell us. That's good. All right, I'm high watching. five, gardener. We did it! Green thumbs on the way. Thanks for watching, you guys. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.